Alerts alerting. Always tracking. This is next weather. On to the weekend we go 74 right now in Miami. We hit 79 earlier today. That's perfect for this time of year. We're going to get above that tomorrow and climb back in the low 80s. So if you prefer the warmer weather, it's coming at us a big time tomorrow. And we'll have full sunshine, not the cloudy day we had today. Checking in in the 70s. Still looking at this persistent southeast flow. We talked about that in the earlier shows, how this was going to just rematerialize between 9 and 11. Well, here we are with a pretty good shower rolling through Fort Lauderdale. Some of these, you know, fizzle out, but then a couple more develop out ahead of it. So this is the setup we're going to have tonight. So if you're late, uh, if you're up late through the overnight hours and into the very early part of tomorrow, I think we'll continue to see that, particularly across northern Dade and into Broward as well. In general, it will be a dry Saturday here. The pick of the weekend because Sunday is going to start getting uh, a little breezy and by the afternoon clouds will begin to billow up and uh, by late day showers and thunderstorms with this frontal boundary that approaches from the north and west. This is going to be a huge storm uh, for folks to the north, but for us it's just going to be the tail end of the front and even that will start weakening as it approaches our area. I'll show you that on rain tracker. Uh, it really just kind of falls apart. Monday, Tuesday, we're behind the front with a little cooler flow here, so we're going to go from 80s back to 70s, which is typical for this time of year. Problem is that same front going to pay us another visit here and it's the visit we don't want Wednesday through Friday because it's going to hang out here and anytime you have a front nearby that's going to you know certainly be the focal point here for some showers uh, that will continue in fact to the point where look at the accumulation here this is through Wednesday so we're going to pick up anywhere from half an inch to an inch of rainfall not tomorrow not Sunday but into next week so we salvage the weekend here's rain tracker through the day on Saturday nothing doing here slight chance of a sprinkle here through the afternoon that would be it and then for Sunday. There are the storms over my shoulder, but watch as I put this in motion it'll be beginning to fizzle out as they continue pushing to the east and uh, you know the latest model runs just looking drier for us. So we're going to be able to enjoy both weekend days. I think with uh, plenty of sunshine here. Rip currents. If you're going out to the beach, it's a nice day for it. Just if you're going to go swimming, that's when you start getting into some problems here because that's going to continue uh, through Sunday as well. We have a small craft caution for boating with two to four foot sea conditions, moderate chop, a little bit better uh, towards Florida Keys. In fact, we have no alerts there, and I think for Sunday we'll start getting the caution there too because the winds are going to start picking up at ahead of that front. Overnight lows, mild stuff here with a moderate uh, onshore flow here, low 70s and then low 80s by the afternoon. We'll climb back a little bit higher for Sunday, and that'll get us into the mid 80s. There are the rain chances coming up late into the evening with your seven-day showing things getting breezier and cooler for next week with highs in the 70s.